All right, hello and welcome. Um, it's 1.40 something in the afternoon right now. I um, I plan to stay up and thug it out until around 9.30 a.m. since I woke up like from a nap yesterday. And I plan to do shopping, but around the, just not long before my alarm and stuff, I um, just slept through it all and I just woke up but a package that I ordered and paid for around mid-September has finally although about a week late has finally showed up and it's right here now it feels very light but it looks you know a whole pretty dumb done well packaged um so i probably have mentioned it a billion times considering how long i've waited but yeah i ordered a mask and this mask is off etsy which if most don't know is essentially kind of like amazon slash ebay whatever you would say except it's mainly used for homemade sort of stuff um, i'm gonna grab my knife real quick still in my jammy jams but um yeah so um trying to trying to i'm not sure if i've mentioned what mask it was but i might as well just bring it up as i'm opening this so after the passing of bray wyatt WWE shop had actually up, or uploaded a few more um, items of his and it was like the, um, all the payments go to the family now I remember they brought up a bunch of fiend masks which were obviously sold out before I, I, I even saw them but I remember there's a Facebook group I'm in called Firefly Funhouse Fan Group on Facebook. And a lot of them have brought up on Etsy. They've just gone and bought a mask on there. And that's what I did. So I ordered it mid-September. It was paid for pretty much not long afterwards. Like maybe a couple days after. And then it mentioned it would take about two, three weeks for them to have accepted and made the order before sending it. And then I remember it was around the 24th of October it said it sent or dispatched. And uh, since then it has just been delivered and it's finally showed up, thank God. Now it feels very light, which is you know, the, the Fiend mask from the WWE shop, obviously, if I remember from videos I've seen of it, it's fairly big and kind of thick. It's got the straps on the back, it's got the detailing and stuff. This feels lighter and it looks a lot smaller because this is the box right here. But right off the bat, we're just going to unbox this very smallly. So, right off the bat, here's the packaging. It's a uh, little, little um, greeny blue packing peanuts. And here is the mask itself. Now, I've bought two masks off Amazon. One was a really shitty cheap one that I thought would have been fine if it was bigger because it ended up being like around here and just under my lip on my face and it, it didn't feel great. And then I did, bought another one which was bigger, but it was more rubbery and loose, kind of like the first plastic mask they released. Here is the Fiend mask here, and I'm right off the bat, that looks decent. So here it is in the packaging. That actually looks really good. Now, the thing with this mask too, is it looks more like the mask he did when he kind of did his return and it was a lot whiter and with a kind of different look to it kind of like the updated mask so here we go Let's see let's just 
packing peanuts now, nothing else. Right, taking the mask out, it feels very rubbery. Ooh. All right, without further ado, here it is. Now, it looks small, but hopefully not too small and it fits my head. Now, right off the bat, so again, it looks more accurate to the updated detail where it has more of a grin and white texture. You've got the back here, which is um, the, what you want to call it, um, which again, very accurate, which I'm happy about. And then the back of it, obviously, it's like a sort of black feel. Now, it, it smells like plastic, obviously, but I love it. It looks really accurate. Now, obviously, the main thing I'm hoping for is that fit, if it fits properly. So, let's see if I can put this on. It looks really good. Like, even these, though these look fairly big, it still looks as accurate as I've probably seen. This mask cost me 300 and just under 50 so it was like 348 something i think it was including shipping so fairly fucking expensive however i remember when they used to sell the fiend mask i did the whole thing where i put it through like ordered but i just did it so i could see what it cost altogether and it was like five six hundred dollars or almost as much as it costs those belts so without further ado let's see if I can fit it there's one Feel the hole. Here we go. All right. Now, this fits fucking absolutely just on point. It fits just right on my chin, and the top bit is just right where my hairline is. That is a perfect fucking fit. That is good, and it looks good too. It it fits nice. So the bottom one, obviously, I could try and tighten it. But it pretty much fits just on my neck. It's a little loose, but that's fine because it is the bottom one and it is sitting on my neck. But it it fits. It's a tight, nice. It's a tight fit, but it's not tight as in it feels uncomfortable. It fits perfectly on my chin doesn't feel like it's falling off and the top feels nice around my head that it doesn't feel like I'm gonna fucking like it's too tight that is an amazing fucking looking mask I am so happy with that this oh yeah so this was definitely as much as it obviously is not an official mask so obviously yeah not official not WWE shop I will not have it obviously titled as such it, it still feels great, and it fucking looks amazing. Obviously, hoping I don't grow too much in my head, it shouldn't be too bad. Like, it fits comfortably just over my chin. Just a little bit, you know, sticking out. But again, it fucking, it's so good. I had hoped that this was going to get delivered before Halloween, but unfortunately it wasn't. Um, now... Obviously, I'd say the only issue is just like with most masks, even though it's got nose holes and a little mouth hole, I still feel a bit of sweat around the area building up. But my eyes see through pretty well. Obviously, there's this little bit here, but that's part of it. The colouring, of course, again, based on the updated, so it's a lot whiter looks great and of course these on the back definitely feel good like with the strapping and stuff so obviously for an unofficial mask that was handmade these are definitely worth it if you 
obviously want a mask, I would definitely go for one of these. These are amazing. Again, it is costly, although it might be a little cheaper if you're closer to the UK, which I think where this is based from. And obviously it might be quicker shipping, because for me it was the two, three weeks, however long it took to make. And then, it, like, about two weeks almost, I think, before they sent it, maybe. I'm trying to think of how many weeks there's been. Probably longer. But if you're closer, like, to the US or that, you might get it shipped quicker, I suppose. But yeah, so right off the bat, I'm, I'm fairly happy with this. This is definitely a um, good old big 8, 9 out of 10. Oh, now obviously because of the plastic, it's very rubbery. So when you, when it's stuck on your face, it's stuck on your face. But, oh, so yeah, obviously there's a little line around me, but... I I had a shitty wake up this morning plan with how I wanted to plan my shopping, but having this come in finally, I am happy nonetheless. I am I'm glad that this has finally showed up. This is fucking something I've been waiting for for a long time. So that's pretty much just this video out the way. I'm just gonna put this together. But yeah, like I said, if you fucking want a themed mask and obviously couldn't afford the um, WWE shop version and obviously you know one thing I'll point out too is a lot of people especially considering you know his past a lot of people are selling his merch for a lot more now which is especially worse because the last time I seen someone selling the themed mask like an official one wasn't signed and it would look damaged even. Like, you think he mentioned in the description it was a bit damaged. He was still selling it for like a thousand something dollars. Australian, but you know, that's still pretty much a lot. Like, wasn't signed, it was damaged a little when he notified that, but he still sold it for that much. So, Fiend Mask off Etsy. Um, obviously in the description, I will put the name of the seller on Etsy for those who want to look him up, look them up, and buy from him. Because again, right off the bat, this is, in my opinion, one of the... Pro I don't know any mask makers and stuff out there. I tried looking and asking, couldn't really get anywhere, or I'd get typical people who were like, Oh yeah, I could probably make one, but you know, you're going to have to pay me a lot of money. But this in my opinion, is very much as accurate as you're going to get. Obviously different because of the size and the style, but this is probably the best one I've seen out there, which again is off Etsy, which not many people may like because of how it goes, but it's still, in my opinion, worth it. So thank you for watching. Thank you to the people behind making this. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have uh, got masks from somewhere else and if they're better or worse. Um, uh, and I will see you in the next one.